Hey, today we're gonna have some fun. We're doing another film swap. Now, a film swap is where one person shoots a roll of film and then rewinds it back into the cassette to send it off to another person to shoot that same roll again so you get all kinds of funky, unpredictable double exposures. My first film swap was with Sweet Lou as part of his Double Vision series. We got some cool results and I've got a link to our swap videos in the description. My second swap was with Bruno over at Retief's Garage here on YouTube. We swapped a roll of Kent Mirror black and white film and you can check out our videos in the description as well. So my third swap here is with somebody you probably already know and that is Matthew Stern. Matthew is a well-respected photographer and filmmaker renowned for taking amazing images with amazing lenses in amazing locations. You'll see a link to his film swap video at the end of this video and again in the description. So for this swap, I shot a roll of Kodak Color Plus 200 in my Canon Rebel T2 and then mailed the roll to France so he could shoot over it with his Canon F1. In keeping with the true experimental spirit of a film swap, we did not give each other any information about what we were shooting. So we had no idea how these images were going to turn out. Matthew had the roll developed at a professional lab in Paris and when he sent me the scans, I was blown away with how well some of these images actually worked. Stick around after the images and I'll share my number one tip for a successful film swap.
As a painter myself, I've got a deep appreciation of art history. So when I first saw this image, I immediately took it as a literal interpretation of Marcel Duchamp's nude descending a staircase. Again, we had no way of predicting what images were going to be superimposed, so I still can't get over how this image came together. Now, I don't really care for labels like high art and low art, but I found the juxtaposition of classical sculpture and graffiti, of sacred and profane, extremely satisfying. The silhouettes of my wife and son were fun too. Overall, I was really pleased with this swap. So my number one tip for a successful film swap is to underexpose your role. Remember, this role is gonna be exposed twice, once by you and once by the other photographer. So if you each underexpose by about a stop or so, that should put you in the ballpark for a decent exposure in your final images. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up down below and share it with your friends. And if you wanna check out Matthew's take on our film swap, make sure to click on the video that just covered my face. And as always, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film. <laughs>